Good morning from Salcedo in Makati. Today we are going to explore Salcedo and I think maybe like Pazi Village and we might even go over to Greenbelt today. I don't know if I'll do Greenbelt as another video, but I've been staying in the Makati area for a few days now and I really like it here. Now in Salcedo, if you walk around this area in the morning, you will notice that this is a very serious business district. It kind of feels like you're in middle, uh, little New York City and uh, or any other sort of like big businessy area. And yeah, there's like a real kind of working vibe here, big city feel here in Salcedo Village. It's interesting because at the same time, it's sort of peaceful. I really like the way this part of the city was architected or designed. It doesn't feel crowded. Uh, it doesn't feel like you're, uh, like there's, it doesn't feel like there's too much going on and yet at the same time there is if that makes any sort of sense it feels very peaceful here yet there's a lot going on i guess is the way i would describe it um, what i will tell you is in salcedo things are the pr uh, prices of food are elevated and it definitely caters towards a more luxury budget here Like I said, if you come out here in the morning, like between 7.30 and 10, you'll see people running to, scrambling on their way to work. But this is pretty chaotic here. So this is interesting, this section is interesting. So there's actually no way for you to walk across this intersection. What you have to do, if you wanna to get to the other side here, you have to go down here. <laughs> and that is how you get down. And I'll show you how to do this now but uh, there's actually no way to get across other than, what do you call this? It's almost like you're in a metro station, but it's like an underground walkway, underground tunnel here. So that'll take you across the road over there if you wanna stay here and then this is like we're going across the street here really cool murals under here but this is how you cross the street <laughs> in uh, this part of uh, Salcedo so I have really liked Salcedo so far if you can't tell I think uh, BGC is a little bit more keen to BGC but it's hard for me to choose just standing over here we were just at that Popeyes so we went or no I believe we, yeah we were just over here at the Pecan Pecan and now we've made it over hello good morning I've actually decided I want to get myself like a nice coffee like a craft coffee I've not eaten yet I think it's like 11 o'clock and probably like a nice like uh, bakery item or something. So there's this place called Bad Cafe in uh, like Pazi Village, which I've not really explored yet. So we're gonna explore that part here together and we'll see where the day takes us. So I believe we're in like Pazi Square, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's an area that people in my comment section have recommended I check out. This cafe is on like Pazi Street, so uh, I believe we're here. Uh, but it's like right next to Salcedo. And near both Salcedo and like Pazi is Greenbelt. And I don't know, you tell me, is this whole area considered Greenbelt? Like, do you just consider this the Greenbelt area of Makati? I would probably say so, but it's actually about a 20 minute walk, eh, 15, 20 minute walk from Salcedo to Greenbelt Mall, so. 
there's actually quite a bit to do here in this part of Makati, I would say. And while I'm just talking about it, I would actually say that I prefer this part of Makati over uh, Poblacion. Poblacion is definitely party central. This feels very good if you're looking to digital nomad, if you're looking to work online, if you're looking to maybe have a nice night out, nice meal, a couple beers, but not get crazy, which is what I like to do. And I just recognize that I've been saying this wrong the entire time. Legazpi, not Legpazi. Legazpi. So, my apologies. Here it is. Alright, let's see. Hi there, good morning. One of the things I've missed since I've been traveling for, I guess two and a half months, almost three months now. I guess almost three months now, two, over two and a half months, is breakfast sandwiches. So I got myself a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, which I've been having a hard time finding in Southeast Asia. It's a very American breakfast, so yeah. I got one of those and a Spanish latte, which I've never had. So it should be good. Here we are at the Bad Cafe. Good vibe. All right, well, here is the breakfast bagel. I wonder if that's cream cheese. I was not expecting that, but we'll see. And then also the Spanish latte here. It is raining, so yeah, but people are working, so I need to be a little bit quiet here. You can see the Spanish latte. It looks really nice. I've noticed like uh, in this area here, you have these Carindarias uh, all over uh, Salcido and like Legazpi. And uh, yeah, they all kind of have, I don't know if they're like licensed, they must be licensed or something because they all kind of look similar. They all have like a Mountain Dew label on them. And uh, yeah, I see a lot of people eating at the Carindarias here as well. Check it out guys, here is Legazpi Active Park right here so another thing I've loved about staying in Salcido is you had Ayala Triangle and there's also another park in uh, Salcido and yeah I love to take walks probably my favorite activity <laughs> it sounds really lame but I love to go on walks so yeah let's take a take a look here and I found a bin so nice hey kitty meow Even a restroom here. Kitty didn't want to talk to me, that's all right. Beautiful, beautiful little park here. I love how they have these, I believe they're lights or something, some sort of decoration here dangling from the tree. I'm sure it's beautiful at night. Yeah, it's lights. I'm sure it's absolutely beautiful at night. There's another park over here. Let's take a look at this. Washington Sicep. Again, love how these trees are decorated here. Seems to be a bigger one. Okay. Yeah, much bigger. Washington Sicep. Okay, there's a fish pond, restrooms, pavilions. Ooh, a drinking fountain, footbridge. Ha. Huh. This is nice, guys. Look at this. You can park right here, have a meal, and uh, yeah, look at this. Very nice. There's a place to relax over here. Wow. So, guys, tell me in the comment section, would you prefer to live in BGC or Makati's business district, like near the Greenbelt, Salcido, Legazpi village. What would you prefer? For me, I gotta be honest, hard to tell. I spent a lot of, a lot of time in BGC, I love it there. Spending a decent amount of time here in Makati, hard for me to say. I think you'd have a really nice quality of life in both places. 
Might be able to get a little bit cheaper rent in Makati, but even then, I don't know. Food here is a little bit more expensive. Really, I don't think you can go wrong with either. I think what I'll do now is head over to uh, Greenbelt and let's go take a look at the Greenbelt Mall. All right, so you can see Shake Shack. I haven't been in one of those for a while, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, Greenbelt One. So we're gonna enter the Greenbelt Mall here. Ah, smells so good, like incense when you walk in here. Ah, so good. All right, where do we go, folks? So, if you go, I mean, if you go up here, I'm not sure that there's much of interest, but uh, through here, we'll take you to the other green belts. So this is green belt one, and I believe there are five sections of green belt. So this I think is like green belt five. So I don't know, it's like we skipped a bunch of green belts. We went from one to five, but uh, in this section, it's like luxury shopping. I've taken you in other, like in, uh, I think my, I'm back in Manila video, took you out there. We'll probably go out again, but really nice spots to like eat, have a really nice meal. And you can just see there's like really like high quality shopping here whatever Omega is as you guys know if you've been a long time viewer of my channel I don't I don't shop like that <laughs> I just uh, it's not how I like to spend my time or money but if you do like to shop like that I'm not judging you it's personal preference green belt 5 as you can see here truthfully the green belt stuff's a little confusing because like I don't know if over there is like green belt 3 but you walk into Greenbelt 1, and then you're in Greenbelt 5, and over here's a chapel. Okay, this gives me my answer. So over here, you can see, okay, Greenbelt 2, Greenbelt 4. Ah, the chapel is the third one, so that makes sense. The chapel is Greenbelt 3. Okay. I mean, it's beautiful, folks. It's beautiful if you're into that type of thing. So it looks like over here is Greenbelt 4. And super nice places here. So where you just saw me walk, that takes you to here, which is Landmark. So Landmark is a department store. Hello. And uh, this department store connects you to Glorietta, which is another major mall here. So then you walk through Landmark and you find yourself right here, which is Glorietta. So actually, I'm having a bit of deja vu here because this is the exact place I was at when I did my coming back to Manila video. And I ate right at that cafe. It was not my favorite, but it was fine. Anyway, here we are. Back where it all started for this leg of the uh, Manila trip. So. Look at this. It's like there's some sort of sneaker fest here. Interesting. I had no idea this was here. Last time I was here, this was just an open corridor, like an open atrium. Better shot of Sneaker Fest 2023. Pretty sick. You know guys, it's crazy. I literally have no idea how to get out of here. This mall is just massive. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright 
well, I finally made my way out of Glorietta, so let's see where the day takes us here. And yeah, outside of Glorietta 4 and 5, nice little park area here. Uh, chai latte, please. Uh, iced. Decided to get a uh, chai latte here from uh, Pickup Coffee. So, I haven't been able to find one too many places. In fact, this might be my first chai since America. Over like three months, I want Sorry. I think we uh, head back here to Salcedo and take a walk around there. All right, later in the day here in Salcedo, haven't had anything to eat since that bagel. So let's go try to find somewhere to eat here. You know what's interesting? On this corner, you have a Starbucks. And then right over here, you have another Starbucks. I don't know. I've noticed that these things happen in the Philippines. It happens with uh, Jollibees, happens with Starbucks. It's interesting. Look at this, guys. 30 pesos per kilo, right around the corner. I'm gonna drop my laundry off after this video. Drop it off by seven at night, I can get it before noon tomorrow, so. Very nice considering, some of you may have seen, I paid 500 pesos for less than, probably only three kilos, maybe even less laundry and BGC so but yeah you can see like these Karen dairies here are very popular the food looks very good rush hour here in the Salcedo all right well this place looks pretty sick I think I can, uh, get it done here Hello. Uh, sit outside? Yes. Okay, great. It's like a good spot. Got Tocino, a Filipino dish. So, excited about it. Cheers, San Miguel Light. I'm like an outdoor beer. Ooh, guys, look at this. Eggs, Tocino, pork. Some other type of thing, rice, probably garlic rice. Oh, it looks good. It looks really good. Oh. Oh, yeah. The meat is so moist. Juicy, flavorful. The egg truly looks like it's cooked to perfection, too. Oh. Good meal. So I've been thinking about the food in the Philippines and it definitely gets a bad rap but there are some really good food items here if you're willing to pay a little bit. I think Tocino, pork Tocino is probably my number one Filipino food. I've had it a few times here and it's never failed. It's so good. And how about we go for a little bit of dessert here right across the street. So I was just over at Manifesto and there's a really good spot where you can find them all over the place called uh, Pan de Manila and I think I just walked by it but here it is so you can get all sorts of stuff here alright, I couldn't decide so I actually got two so let me show you alright, first one is an almond tart so it looks really really good mm -hmm. Oh man, it's buttery, but you definitely get the almond taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got this. The other one is this uh, cinnamon panda saw. Also really good. Bread is moist and spongy. 
definitely sweet, but not crazy sweet. What's crazy is this was only 22 pesos, but for both the tart and this, it was 60 pesos total. So cheap, that's like a dollar or something. Just, just over a dollar, really good. All right, well, I think that just about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.